Today, you are going to learn to use Phragmite to heat your home. Invasive species cause harm to the environment around us. Phragmite is this type of species, and it is harming our ponds. Phragmite sucks up nitrogen in the ponds, but when it dies, it puts it back. This excessive amount of nitrogen can cause more growth of plants and algae, which in the long run can cause eutrophication in ponds. Martha's Vineyard Shellfish Group saw Phragmite as an issue. They harvest the Phragmite before it dies, but they don't know what to do with it. That is where we come in. The Envy Shellfish Group began this project by harvesting Phragmite from local ponds. They hung the Phragmites to dry, where it was later ground down for fine processing by students. Students joined Emma Green Beach and Rick Carney, biologists from MV Shellfish Group, along with Keith Wilde of Thimble Farm, to run the Phragmites through a chipper and break it down to a more usable pulp. Today, you're going to make pellets. MV Environment Club has worked to develop a procedure in order to make these pellets. With the power of research, and the help of Nathaniel McCulley, Emma Green Beach, and the folks at Thimble Farm, we have created a simple and fun process. First things first, you need to come up with a mixture of Phragmite and Lignin. For example, 50% Phragmite, 50% Lignin. Next, grind down the Phragmite into a powder slash dust. Three, mix Phragmite dust with your chosen source of Lignin. Four, Use a blender to turn the mixture into dust. It should take about two minutes. Five, add water to the mixture and blend for about 30 seconds. The mixture should have a paste-like consistency. Six, put the paste into the molds. You need to force as much paste into the molds as possible. Seven, let the pellets dry in the sun. Eight, Pop the pellets out of the mold once they have dried. Once the pellets have dried, you will do a calorimetry burn test in order to analyze the joule per gram of pellet burned. We can use these values to compare to other pellets burned. This allows us to rank our pellets amongst the more manufactured ones. Have fun making your own Phragmite pellets. <laughs>